What is good, YouTube? AJ Boogie back at it again, bringing you Is This Real Life? Hey! In case you haven't heard of the Storm Area 51 raid, you should have by now because this is going to be a major day in American history. So if you're free September 20th, make sure to pack your things, come on over to Nevada. Let's storm Area 51. They can't stop us all. And look towards the bottom. 1.9 million people going. And if you look up top, of course, I'm going. I won't be there physically. I won't be there mentally. I'll be there spiritually. So on a serious note, though, how many people of the 1.9 are actually going to go? I'm going to say the over under is nine. But I want to say this to the nine people that are going. Somebody better be on Instagram Live. I want to see this. In a world where everybody wants clout, this is well-deserved clout. I will gladly give you a follow, a retweet, an Instagram, whatever you want. You got it. I mean, let's just not beat around the bush. There's a lot of people who will do a lot of things for a little drop of clout. And if you're the brave soul who is willing to go Instagram live on this, you're going to have a waterfall of clout. I mean, we're talking about lifeboats, life jackets, floaties. The whole world's going to be watching you. I mean, not all heroes wear capes. And let's just be honest. The people who are actually going to show up for this event, they got some big basketballs. I mean, you're trespassing a military base. Look, this isn't GTA out here where you get blown up and then you wake up in a hospital. The government, they got Call of Duty guns. I'm sure they got a stock full of Olympias, AC-130s, Hueys, attack dogs, RC cars, they got it all. Here is what I think is the most interesting part of this raid. Listen to this quote by an Air Force spokesman, Laura McAndrews. She said, officials are well aware of the event and issued a warning saying, Area 51 is an open training site for the U.S. Air Force and would discourage anyone from trying to come into the area where we train American Armed Forces. The U.S. Air Force always stands ready to protect America and its assets. So that last sentence, America is ready to protect its assets, that struck with me. The word assets especially, that just kind of shows me that the government is hiding something from us and they don't want 1.9 million people to know about it. So should we change that quote to America is ready to protect its aliens? Because if you say assets, that makes me think aliens. Hey, I'm just asking the question. Me personally, I do believe in aliens because if dinosaurs were on this earth, why can't there be aliens? I mean, if a dinosaur would just plop right here down on the earth, would we not consider it an alien? There's a lot of people who would look at a dinosaur as an alien. I would put alien and dinosaurs in the same draft class. They are two similar prospects. Dinosaurs, their first cousins, aliens for sure. The only problem I see with this Area 51 raid, there's 1.9 million people going. But who's the leader of these people? Because right now, there's nobody who I think is taking charge. No one stood up. But there is one guy who I think is more than qualified to do this job. And I think it's Will Smith. I mean, he's the best candidate from his Men in Black days. I mean, he's been in Men in Black 1, 2, and 3. He's a veteran in the Alien game. He saved the world multiple times from Aliens. I think Will Smith is the best candidate. But if Will Smith is not available, my second in command would be Bill Nye. Some people refer to him as Bill Nye the Science Guy if you watch his videos in grade school and science class. And I don't know if Bill Nye's credentials necessarily match up to Will Smith's, but the guy knows science if anything. He would have plenty of good ideas that could contribute to this Area 51 raid. This would be a dream team with Will Smith and Bill Nye together as the leaders. So this makes it a lot more interesting if we can get these two guys on the team. And if that doesn't appeal to you, there's going to be a free concert also to my knowledge. Lil Nas X said if there is a raid that he will perform at the raid. And if you don't know Lil Nas, he sings the song New City Street, which I'm sure you've heard of 3,000 times. And that song still slaps. 
He's even made a remix with him, Billy Ray, and Mason Ramsey. And the music video takes place in Area 51, so I think it's a real deal. And that's just another bonus that Mason Ramsey's going to be there. Follow Lil Nas X on Twitter. He's a great follow for my Twitter guys. So, I ask the question again. Are you not interested? So if you got nothing going on September 20th, come on out. Area 51, we got free t-shirts, free concert. That's all the heat I got for today. Like, comment, subscribe to the Boogie Squad. AJ Boogie, and I'm out. Boom!